Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are in the station here in Atlanta. It is our home station. We haven't been here in a while, but we are hopping on the Crescent heading up to New York City. Why are we going to New York City? Because we are going to be also hopping on a cruise ship. So if you haven't found it yet, we have Grounded Life Cruises. It is our cruise channel and we'll be doing all of our cruise content there, but you can ride along the Crescent with us here. Okay, so I'm gonna show you around this beautiful old historic station, show you a little bit of getting on the train. We get on at 11.30 p.m., so it is going to be quiet hours when we get on, so we're probably going to be heading right to bed, and we'll hop in and bring you along in the morning when we get breakfast and uh, carry on with the rest of our day. Right now, I'm gonna show you the station, and then I'll show you as we board the train in a little bit. All right, we made it to our room at, and this is a Viewliner 1, so we do have the toilet in our room. Looks like they are both Viewliner 1s. There might be a third car that's a Viewliner 2. We'll check that out tomorrow. But uh, we're settled in. A lot of people getting on here in Atlanta. Almost, I think our entire car got on in Atlanta, so everyone's just settling down right now. It's still kind of loud out there. Train attendant's gonna come talk to us, and then we're gonna go to bed and get ready for breakfast in the morning. I'm so excited to be in a view liner tonight because look how much space I have tonight and a window on the top bunk. You don't get that on a super liner, so yeah, this is gonna be great. I'm gonna set my area up here and then get some snacks from Allie. Good morning. We went to sleep in Atlanta and we woke up in, I think we're near Lynchburg, Virginia. So we're going to have some breakfast now. Thankfully, the dining car is, the cafe car was serving breakfast until 10 a.m. And right now it's uh, 9.45. <laughs> so we slept in a little bit because we got on the train late. And um, so, you know, we didn't get to sleep settled and all that kind of stuff, train moving, all that kind of good stuff until late. So we're gonna have our breakfast now and it is a flexible dining. So we do have the uh, flexible dining menu that we ordered off of for breakfast. And we have the continental breakfast, which gives you a choice of lots of different things, including a breakfast sandwich, which is what we opted for. Um, and then I also got cereal with mine, but you can also get yogurt and a, uh, like a protein bar type thing. And then they also have um, buttermilk pancakes with sausage and the three egg omelet and that comes with uh, I think bacon and potatoes or sausage and potatoes um, on the side so that's good we're gonna order some lunch from there later on but right now I am going to open up this sandwich and see what this is all about I haven't had it a long time Ooh, that looks good oh, my look at that cheesy I'm about to make a mess. It's hot. Let's see if I can bite into it. Hold on. Here we go. 
let's give it a shot, guys. Mm. Upright is really good. You know, for something that's warmed up and not made fresh, it's actually really tasty. So I'm gonna keep enjoying my breakfast. Rob's gonna eat his, and then we'll see you guys later for some views out the window.
Okay, it is lunchtime. So we have chosen, again, this is from the flexible dining menu that we chose. And you can choose a slow braised beef, um, the Thai curry street noodles, chicken a la rosa, Atlantic salmon and shrimp, and big ziti and meatballs. And if you watch our channel, I bet you you can guess what we got before I even tell you, but I'm gonna tell you. Okay, so if you watch our channel, you probably already know that I picked the salmon because I love fish. So this is the salmon and it has some shrimp on the side and I don't, the person who's cooking these, the chef and uh, warming these up over in the cafe is doing an excellent job because look at how nice that is. It's not all dried out. It's still got some nice moisture to it. And then we get a little salad, which is awesome get a little bit of greens in there that would be great and I got a ginger ale with my lunch to drink and guys do not sleep on these if you have the option to get the butter cakes that's one of the top best things I think about the flexible menu <laughs> is the dessert I love sweets so this dessert is my favorite um, and then if you also again watch our channel you already know Mr. Rav has got himself his baked aziti and meatballs. And he got a salad as well, and he got water to drink with his. And he also got a butter cake. Now, these are like super rich. So what we usually do is we just split it, and we each eat half, and then we save the other one for later. So I think the other one we're gonna save for tonight when we get to New York. I think we're gonna have this in the hotel room after we get some dinner somewhere on the streets of New York. I don't know what we're gonna get, but I know we're gonna want that for dessert later. So one for now and one for later. And we're gonna dig in here and prep our lunch and eat it. And then uh, we're gonna be into, I think we might be into Manassas right now maybe. Um, but when we get to DC, we're gonna hop off and I think we're gonna be able to see the cherry blossoms. So I'm really looking forward to that. So let's chomp down on this lunch.
All right, we got off here in DC, stretching our legs, and we've got the Northeast Regional on one side and we're on the other. Make sure I get on the right train when I get back on. We've got a few minutes here in DC, so I will give you a little update on what we paid for this trip. We did use points, and it was 21,000 points to get here. Now, these points were originally going to be used on the Coast Starlight. We had actually had our ticket a few months ago, and they canceled that trip due to flooding in L.A. And so we took those points, applied them to this trip, and got to do this one for free, basically. So uh, it was a good deal, 21,000 points all the way from Atlanta to New York City, and we're pretty excited about that price. If you are looking for the best views on the Crescent coming up towards Washington, D.C., then you are going to want to be on the north side of the train. You get a great view of the mall, and we were treated this time around to some cherry blossoms also. All right, so we're back on board. I think on the right train, there's another train <laughs> next to us here, too. So there's actually four trains sitting in the station loading and unloading people but uh, I think it's time we give you guys a little room tour so let's start right here we've got a roomette and this is the rear facing seat right here which is the one that Rob is in and the two bottom seats actually make up the bed so take a look here you've got a night light a little bit brighter light and these are the buttons here that are going to turn that on and off. Now in this corner back here, you've got a fan slash air conditioner. We're in a tunnel here, so it's a little bit dark. There we go. We're out of the tunnel. So here is a fan, and you can set that to low, medium, and high, and it actually blows really good um, air there. There's also air coming out of this vent here, and for some reason tonight, last night, I felt some heat coming out of this one right here so um, i'm not really sure why there was heat and air at the same time but nonetheless so that's this side here and then there is a attendant button here and here you can set the temperature it actually has numbers um and we've got it set pretty cool to about rob's got it set to 50 degrees <laughs> But it's not really 50 degrees Fahrenheit in here. Um, our jackets are hanging here. And there is a, a strap here to pull them in. But we don't have long jackets. And I'm storing my backpack right here with... There's a little trash can there. And this is where the toilet paper is stored. And we'll talk about that in just a second. So here is the tray that we can eat our meals at here in the room you can also play checkers if you bring a checkerboard checker pieces with you i've never seen them on board so i think you have to bring your own or you can make some probably too and they do provide water for you in the roomettes so we've got that and a nice view as we leave washington dc here let's take a look at the other side so this is my seat here i'm facing forward and here we've got the announcements so you can turn it up or down and then right here you've got your lights again the wall one and the small reading light also note that with this switch you can turn that air off right there the flow will turn completely off and the reason why there's toilet paper on the other side is because we have a toilet right here 
right here in the room. And we also got a sink right here. Okay, and notice that there's no drain here. What happens is the water fills here, and then when you tip this up, see those little holes? It washes back and down. Just make sure you always secure that because the person up above is gonna end up standing on that and probably having quite the accident coming down. We've also got outlets here. You've got two of them, and this is where you flush the toilet, and this light lets you know when the toilet is not usable. It lights up orange, and there's a mirror light, which lights up right here. And then, when the sink is down, see how this lights up here? That way, it alerts to the person on top that they can't come down. And then you've got some soap here, and they give you these nice little cups, which is perfect for in the morning, for brushing your teeth, and we've got some towels here, too. And there is a room light master switch here. You can turn it off and on right there. And that's basically what we've got down here. Give you another quick glance before I take you up to see Rob's humble abode, and that is the penthouse. And listen, in a viewliner, the penthouse is really the penthouse, right, Rob? Yeah. <laughs> There's so much room up here, and I just enjoyed this ride last night. Even though we got on late, I did have a good time. First thing I want to show you is where I put my stuff, and that is this huge compartment here. Uh, I've got my backpack in there. And then there was a, that's not my M&M wrapper. Someone left that from the last time in the Disney book, apparently. I don't know, it's a magazine. Uh, that was up there. Anyway, I like to put my stuff up there because you just have access to everything. You can put your headphones, your iPad, whatever, just lay it out up there. Get whatever you want, lay your snacks out. You also have this little pouch right here. Good for your glasses snacks like that um so that is amazing one thing that's not amazing about up here though is this feature here which is the speaker <laughs> so if there's an announcement it's basically right in your ear so this morning i think they made a mistake announcement at about 6 or 6 30 and it woke me up she never heard it uh because you can't really hear them very well downstairs and uh, I was like, did you hear that announcement? She was like, no, I didn't hear it. So, uh, but also she uses uh, headphones to sleep at night. So if you want to know what those are, look in the description or on our blog, she can tell you. She uses the Bose ones and they, they do work real well. She never hears anything. Uh, another great thing we have is windows. You have windows on the view liner. You don't have those on the super liner. So if this is your first ever trip you're considering going on, this is a good one because this space is so much uh, taller than you have on a superliner. If you have two people and you're not really sure which one of you is going to be up and which one's going to be down, and you're both kind of nervous about being in tight spaces, definitely try the viewliner first because the superliner is like, it's literally like half the size of this. So you're, when you're laying down, you can't sit up at all. It's You just have a few inches of... of clearance even when you're laying down so it is pretty tight i'm used to it now and i don't mind it but i, I really do love it when we get on this one because the window uh, is a great feature not much else up here other than i do have access to this air control which is really cool and you can turn this to change the airflow you've got your light switches here which frankly are confusing sometimes when you get on the train at night First thing I would do is try out all the buttons because like last night, it's been a while since I've been on one of these Viewliner roomettes and it was about one o'clock in the morning and I was, this light was still on over here a little bit and I didn't know how to turn it off. And I, I looked at all the buttons and I was like, if I hit the wrong button, all the room lights are gonna come on and Allie's gonna wake up and it's gonna be bad. So I just left it on, it wasn't that bright really. But my advice to you is figure out what all these little mirror light buttons do and how bright they are before you get going, before you go to bed. And also figure out where you're gonna step because you gotta hit that top pink step with your first foot, that one that she's touching. If you don't hit that step, that other one right there is the 
toilet lid, and it's too far down to hit. If you if you miss that, unfortunately in the night it's, it can get pretty dark in here. If you miss that, you will probably fall into the person on the bottom bunk and wake them up. So uh, I won't say if that's happened to me before, but I'm just saying take some precaution. Uh, other than that, this is a great area. It is my favorite uh, favorite sleeping combination. You will notice that on this end of the bed, it does kind of cut out and it is a little bit wider than on that end. So this end that I'm sitting on now is definitely the side that you want to sit on with your head or lay down on it with your head uh, to get the most comfortable ride. But this mattress is very, very comfortable. I love it. The little uh, strap thing really holds you in well. And uh, yeah, I couldn't be more excited to be up here. And uh, I'm going to sit up here now for a little bit and just read and listen to some music while we're uh, moving along because the window makes it possible just to sit up here during the day too.
right, we made it to Moynihan Train Hall here in New York City, and we are about to go directly across the street to our hotel. What do you think about that ride? That was one of the best rides we've ever had. <laughs> it was smooth, just it was a great ride all around. Awesome, guys, do not forget to give us a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and leave us a comment below with any questions about our ride.